All right, we're up here in Heber, Utah on a repossession for a blue Jeep Cherokee. Been looking for it for a little while now. It turns out it's been the parent's address that we've been going by. They gave this kid a couple different opportunities to bring the loan current and he has not. They just ran a skip locate on him and came up with a more current address right over here. In the townhomes where a lot of people a lot of kids in their early 20s move out and call this home. I just pulled up to the street and I can see a blue Jeep. Looks like the license plate matches. So, to work we go. finance company did not have this address which is actually just up the street from mom and dad's house I'm not surprised gotta live within about a mile of mommy so she can do your laundry your grocery shopping but apparently mommy hasn't been staying up on his car payments damn it mom why aren't you making my car payments the repo man came and took my jeep no, I don't have a Jeep. How am I going to be a man? My mommy can't make my car payments for me. Yep, he's learning a hard life lesson today. Hey, I ran a skip on your Baldwin kid and came up with a brand new address up here in Heber and just found your Jeep and got it hooked. Okay. So he's living down the street from Mommy and Daddy um, on the west side. So I'm sure you'll be getting a call from him. Where do you want us to take it? Probably take that down to Mountainland Auto. Okay. You think it'll be safe there overnight? Um, yeah, I think it'll be should be safe overnight down there. Okay, because I, I didn't get any keys. There was no contact, so I don't know if is that where he bought it from. Yeah, that's where he bought it from. You don't think he'd go back there looking for it, do you? Um, probably not. I think he'd probably be okay there. Okay. For the night. Okay, I'll run it up to Mountainland then and drop it there. Okay, that'll work, and then I can whatever I need to do to get you paid on this one. I can drop you a check or give you my card or whatever. So. Uh, no, I'll just shoot you an invoice and you'll get it in your email and then you just, just cut me a check and mail it to my P.O. box. Okay, we'll that'll be... work. Awesome. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, talk to you later. You bet. Bye. Bye. got the bin covered yeah that, that's gonna stop us
repo out back for Jeremy. Yeah, we just I just invoice him and then he'll just send me a check. He just said want to drop it. I didn't get keys. There was no contact. I doubt he even knows it's gone yet. So I don't know if you guys want to block it in. Yeah. He's literally just two blocks up the street here. Oh really? Yeah. That's where you got it? Yeah. So he probably drives by here daily. And then this is where he bought it from too. So yeah. you guys might want to no, throw, we'll go out throw something in front and yeah. behind it. Do you always have that camera for the, the GoPro on? Oh yeah. When I'm, re I'm repoing, I take it off for other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kids in the room. Not always have it on. But yeah, for, for, for work though, it's always, I got six cameras on the truck and then two on me. That's so. Smart. That's why that few weeks ago, I was on the two layer. Yeah, I got very It does have all of its personal property in it. I locked it up, make sure it's locked up. So okay. then I got video of everything that was in it. So if he comes back later and says there was a shotgun or bar of gold, wasn't there when, wasn't there when we picked it up. <laughs> have a good day. I take my GoPro camera off when I shower. <laughs> Sometimes. said I was a cop. I said I was just telling you that you need to have ID on you. And it's a tactic that we used because based on how he responds, we didn't know his level of knowledge about what's what, you know, because then moving forward from there, I know what games I can and can't try to pull on him. But uh, we got him to give it up. Which one you getting in? Pretty one right there. I don't know if I can get up into the vans. It's, it's iffy. That camera gone. When I get backed up to it, jump out and I think it's a stick and just put it neutral. Shit, you already even find the keys in it. That doesn't move in a couple of days. I gotta get over this curb though before I drop my arm down. Uh, is there any utility boxes in that thing? I can't tell. Yeah, I'll clear the van. Fun, fun, fun. It's gonna be tight. <laughs> See, I'm going to wind up in the car. i got to get past this pole. Now I can drop my arm. you got to do all your maneuvering and manipulating. And then do as close as you can. There we go. This is, I don't even know if we're going to the center right here. Close. But I've hooked stuff before where I knew I just blocked in. I couldn't, but I got the car on the back. And I just talked him into moving the car out of the way that was blocking me. So, if we keep it. Alright. What? Yeah, go pop it. Yeah, I think it's a stick. Just put it in neutral. <laughs> Certify this, Matt. Hey, Matt. Lance Thornton at Rainy to Wiper Blades. How are you? How are you doing, Lance? Hey, I was calling in regards to, uh, my Christina had said she's been waiting for reply to ship the blades out to you because they, all they have is a peel box. I didn't know if that's what you wanted to send. Oh, no, I can give you a physical. I, I didn't know, I didn't know she's waiting on a reply. I, she, I, last thing I knew is they were shipped out. Oh, let me get here. Uh, that's what she's waiting on. She just pulled me in and said, hey, can you get this for me? Uh, this whole time I thought they are on their way. Yeah, no, I can give you a physical. Okay, what is it? No. And that's in a town called Springville, like it sounds. Springville, one word. And then the uh, zip code is 84 
So now after I put these blades on this uh, sheriff deputy's vehicle and he likes him and he talks to the guy that uh, makes the decisions, who do I give him over to to put, you know, if he's interested in getting him for the whole fleet? Oh, we'll do that through you. You want to work with Sharon on that? That way you get, that way you get paid on all that. So let me have Sharon work with you. Okay. I'll tell what you just told me. She's actually in the office today. If you want, I can transfer you over to her or I can go over and talk to her about it. Whichever. And I don't know if you, if I mentioned in my email, his wife is also family to a really large uh, auto parts uh, store that's uh, just south of where I live. And so I'm in, I want to see about maybe getting a display put in there and, and see how they do out of there. We're kind of a test trial. Okay. Well, let me, let, me, um, let me go see Sharon. I'll have her give you a call back, okay? Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Lance. Yep, good luck. Oh, bye. The uh, CEO of Raineater.com. He's sending over a pair of blades for your Honda and for your Tahoe. And then uh, I want to go over to that boneyard you're talking about and talk to the guy over there and see if he, uh, I'll just show him the ones that are on my truck here and just talk to him about them and say, you know, if you guys are interested, I can get you a real good cost on them. They're, you know, a little bit more dollar pricey, but over the long run, you'll, you'll buy less blades. So yeah. you'll see a savings. That's all any government agency wants to hear is, you know, bottom dollar and and quality, I think. Same, yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't, you know, good if you're on response. First responders have to... <laughs> When everybody else is parked and indoors and the weather's crap, we're the ones that are out on the roads. And one of the things you have to have is blades. So I just love these since I put them on my truck. They've been awesome. I thought I thought they already shipped, but apparently she's been waiting for a uh, physical. I see those sticking out of my freaking PO box. <laughs> Avoid wiper blades. You ever seen the uh, Bosch icons? That's I, at Bosch's top of the line uh, line. That's basically what they're, you know, that's the what I would consider to be the direct competitor for this series from Rainier. The only thing is Bosch covers from wholesale, low end, you know, stuff you get from your mechanic to pass safety emissions or safety all the way up to the top of the line icon series. And uh, people are like, I don't want to pay $17 a blade for wiper blades. I'm like, have you priced out the Bosch icons? You know, you're paying overhead just to get those because they're in, you know. It's twice the Yeah, and but I, I want to do so. I'm trying to figure out how to do I like do one blade, you know, a side-by-side -side comparison right. for a season and watch the actual wear on them and see if it's uh, even nominal. Wonder if there's a key in it. Tennis console, there isn't one. I don't think they're getting it back this time. I'm surprised no one came out. Oh well, strap it down and get out of here. It looks, it looks left like that. I think I'll, uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to back up down there or just walk down there. It's only two houses and just see if they've got the keys. Cause you know, it saves a finance company 60 bucks having portable locksmith come out and make a key on site. <clears throat> Did you see the uh, gray Lancer in front of the house? Yeah. That's Jaden's. That's what? My oldest boy, we just got that for him. Found it on KSL. Oh, that's the one you're telling me about, yeah. Yep. Yeah, got bone stock, 128,000 miles. He's going to do all kinds of fun stuff to it over time, but I was trying to help him budget out. I took him down to the credit union and got him a loan, so he's getting credit. And, uh, you know, because my, my parents never talked to me I, about credit and credit cards and bank accounts and. The four years we wasted in high school, man, if they actually taught us the crap we're going to do for the next 40 years, I don't think four years would be long enough. You know, I, I, I'm yet to use a freaking algebra equation in my life. 
and I, I do a lot of math, you know, especially when I'm building like speaker boxes and stuff. You gotta under, understand, you know, areas and squares and geometry and stuff, but there's so much crap I took in high school that it's like, that was a real waste. But if someone had sat down and taught me about credit and debt, yeah. Matter of fact, I think it'd be better if I could go to schools and teach junior high and high school age kids about what I do for a living, not to encourage them to become repo men, but to teach them how to not end up needing me or someone like me, you know? Exactly. If you ask me, I, I can imagine if they got a big enough program going, you'd probably see an effect on the overall economy in within like five years. Once all those graduates hit the, assuming that you were getting the sticky factor and they were actually taking to heart what you were teaching them, okay. The, kid, the, kids the, are... They're in the van backing out right now. The one that was blocking us. You wanna just approach the door and just see if they've got the llaves? Or keys? I always say llaves to Mexicans. They look at you stupid when you ask for the keys. They're just sitting in that silver van. Just hey, you got the keys for that uh, Tercel? They're here visiting it's their sister's house. Because I think they were expecting it to be gone. I think they were too. And I says, yeah, it's cleaned out. I says, there's nothing in there. Yeah. Dead giveaway is cell phone chargers and car seats. Those aren't volleys, but they, you know, <laughs> nope. Then half the time, this is sitting on the seat. And, uh, you know, you know, but. Oh, God, I wish I could remember the name of that. Her to oh, guess what? I, what? I, I you know the GPS angle monitor one. Yeah. Uh, what was her name? Uh, start with a K. Uh, Casey. Yes. Uh, went back and got her man's truck. <laughs> That's that red Ford in front of my house. Really? Yeah. What's his name? Um. Okay. He's on. He's on paper too right now. I think he, he just barely got out of foothill, or she got out of foothill. But yeah, I uh, just got the order on that red. Ford F-150 and that's his. I mean, it's not the, he has an 05 blue one that's really his daily driver, but. Yep. <sighs> well, should we try and go get it or what do you think? Oh yeah, we'll get it. If he's there and it's in the garage, we'll get it. I'm almost, I'm almost half wondering if, uh, I hate what they've done to this exit. It's like the worst exit to drop crap back because it's not even a normal exit anymore. You almost have to commit to a lane by the time you're anywhere near it, you know? There's no parking rides. I use the Maverick on the other side as my drop point around here. Um, yeah, we'll drop this and then we'll just we'll shoot straight up there and if he's home. It's the only thing that sucks about that 
thing that gives us the GPS location off the cell phone. You can only do it once. But she says that he doesn't go anywhere. Well, I mean, and if, that, if she knows that much about him, they were in a relationship together, and she's, you know, she's got that inside knowledge about him. Because he works from home, and, if, and he just doesn't go hardly yeah. anywhere. Yep. But well, you know what I haven't done yet since that night? I need to run the TLR on that. Did you happen to check it? I Find out who the RO is on that? Truck. Yeah, because I the only place I've got that is on video. i got to go pull the video file and because I said it out loud. I didn't write it down. I just said it out loud and I knew I'd had it on video. But uh, when we get there, let's uh, run I've it. Got the, I think I wrote it down. Okay, let's run the TLR real quick and see if it's got a lean on it. And I'll, I'll call the re and see if there's a repo out on it. Because we might be able to have fun with him anyways. I told her, I said, it's, it's as if he doesn't get the Jeep up. Actually, you just disable it. Pull the master fuse out enough that it doesn't work, but leave it in there. You gotta be back by like 1.30, but... You do? Yeah. Okay. We'll get this off here at this Maverick, and then we'll just hightail it up there. As long as we don't... As long as we don't dink around up there, we should, it should be pretty straightforward. We're only going to the point. Yeah, just right over the point. It's seriously like, you know, 20, 25 minutes on my crotch rocket. <laughs> I was cruising along at about 85 miles an hour. Not in the fastest lane, but in the fast lane. And you know those new Highway Patrol uh, SUVs, that was the Explorers? The yeah, Explorers. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I, am a, I have to admit, I'm a freaking pedal to the metal driver. But I'm, I'm an aggressive driver, but I don't have any accidents. You know, I don't get in accidents, and I don't cause other accidents. And I'm a courteous, courteous driver, but I get the freaking heck around people and on. Yes. You know, not, not that's just a case for speeding, but anyhow, I just cruising. And man, by the time I realized he was highway patrol, I was <laughs> I, he was two lanes over. I cleared the vehicle in front, you know, and I'm scanning, tell, you know, I know what a freaking charger looks like from a half mile away. Yeah. You know, headlights and tail lights, and I was coming up, I'm, da, 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 Totally freaking, and so I brake, 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 and at the same time, I mean, he saw me inside, and, and I knew, you know, he didn't, he didn't his brakes, but he dropped off the accelerator quick, and he, he's slowing, and I'm slowing, and of course on a motorcycle, I can slow way faster than him, with just inertia, you know, I just let off the throttle, yep. and downshifting, and I was able to stay behind him and over until he got up on the freaking center street exit right here, and I freaking blinker. I waited until he was past the exit, and right when I went for it, I, I, I timed it perfectly. At the last second, he almost went for it, and he couldn't do it. He tried, he tried to get, he tried to get over on me, and oh man! And then he freaking flipped his freaking wig wags on and pulled the next car over that was in front of him. He was just pissed. He wanted, dude, oh, he wanted me so bad. Damn, this truck's in the wrong place. All right, we'll go to the end then. What is he doing? Right in the middle of the parking lot. Did you drop your smokes, dude? I gotta get those bolts loosened. Right about there. Want drink? Uh, cream soda in the bottle.
Yeah, that's a... I used to be both this guy when I was a jumper. I was like 20, 21 years old, just sat in the bachelor seat and did all the grunt work, you know? Go to this gas station. You want a drink? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, two liter Pepsi. He'd sit there drinking poop between his legs and chug that thing. That's too much soda, man. Like, uh... I can barely get through one of these little 20 ounces before it's not cold enough to drink anymore. Okay, yeah, she just texted me back and I just said, just to make sure, January's payment was made on February 2nd. No, she just got subpoenaed by, she, she has become friends with his ex-wife. Okay. And he, she got subpoenaed by her attorney, his, her attorney to testify against him in court. That shouldn't matter. It's about intent. You know, someone that's right. there stealing has no reason to be there. They're, they don't, you know, I'm there, I wouldn't be there if he wasn't in the position he was in. We don't just show up at random addresses and create mayhem. And it's like, they don't even know that's how easy it is to win most of the stuff in court. The reason we want to avoid court is because it costs a $2,500 right. retainer right. to fight a freaking frivolous case. So winning isn't winning. I was like, I, I said, I'm honestly surprised you wasted the time to call me. You know, I said, really, I am. I, you know, I, I said, I would be surprised if you guys called this if we dragged a car out of the driveway and we left the skid marks. I had that out much time. Cop called me. He's like, that's just, that's just rude. He's requesting you come back over here and scrub these, these skid marks up. <laughs> I'm like, you know what the ground is for, right? It's for driving on. <laughs> Rubber skid marks in someone's driveway. We call it beauty marks, you know? And it's like, I, I don't want to do that. But when people leave us with no other options and they do everything they can with an all-wheel drive vehicle to make it to where we have to drag it, Uh, yeah, I've had a couple phone calls from law enforcement, but I, just, I was highly surprised that they even bothered to call me back. Ogden, man. Oh, geez, they are horrible. Ogden is. Um, cops. They're, they're, like, for repo man. Yeah. I'm, sure they're, I'm sure they're great cops. But when it comes to, you want to get on the property, you want to get the vehicle, and you want to get off the property with no contact ASAP as you can. This guy pulled in front of me with his truck and his trailer and walked me in while I had his wife's Durango hooked in the driveway. Only time I've ever had law enforcement tell me to drop the vehicle. He's like, he's like, we're here. He's got you blocked. He's saying he's not going to lose his vehicle. He goes, you're in breach of peace right now. He goes, you got to drop it and come back for it later. And you know, I huffed and puffed a little bit. All I was doing was uh, staging because I wanted to get the GPS device on it. And so I was like, well, can you, I said, can you pull him over there just one more time? Give one more really good shot, you know? And so both of them had their backs turned. Like, Click. You know, All like, right, I'll and drop then I was, it. And then I, and then I, I, didn't, I didn't even say anything. I just got my truck and just went to work and dropped it, and just, I didn't say a word, drove away. You know, and I know that guy felt like he had won so good. Sure shit, 15 minutes later I pinged it, they were already moving it. 20 minutes later it was on the back of my freaking lift, 7-Eleven parking lot. You know, and you want to awesome. roll your window down and give the birdie to roll away, but it's, it, that's not professional, you know? And it's not personal, it's not it, it's not, a, it's not an attack on me individually, yeah. but you feel like that sometimes, and it's, you gotta just let that stuff to be, you know, let it roll off you. We're catching people in bad situations. Of course they're gonna freaking spit on us and do mean, you know, say mean things. It's decent or so blank. I know, and I gotta grab my okay, okay, don't worry um, about that. Yeah, that, that, that'll work. And then like I say, and, and I'll explain that to him. Um, and then when when you call him, um, why, why don't you just, why, if, if you can't make it before six, why don't you call my guy about 5.30 and then just give him that information. But I'll, I mean, I'll explain to him where, where you're talking and stuff, so. Okay. Okay. Great. And then just and then just do you do you have is there just one set of keys to it? Is there two? Just the one. Okay. Okay. Because I was gonna say when I asked Stacy, she said that, that she didn't have a set of keys to it. So. Um. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Huh? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. He says directly east of there. He says he doesn't really want all the neighbors seeing. Mm -hmm. He says which neighbor you talk to, so I know which one to do damage control with. And, yep. Yep. And uh, I always tell people it's just not running, and we gotta, you know, we're just taking it to a shot. I don't know anything, you know. I'm just the guy moving it. 
So, so directly east of there is where he wants to he surrender it? He says those apartments over there and then uh -huh. there's a big open field. Uh -huh. He says, I'll just go over there with my dog and then I can just walk back. He says, I'm sure you guys not going to give me a ride home. It, 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 did he indicate he's driving it? He says he's in it right now. Okay, okay. The, you know, I realized after you showed me that picture that the plate I could see, because I could, you know, you can tell whether it's a ski or a, and it's a ski plate, not an elevated uh, arches. And, and, the, and so there is something in there, but it's not the Jeep. And he said the front right shock is broke, is, is busted. And he oh. goes, so once, he says, I just take side streets, service streets. He says, once you get up to 65, he says, that thing starts to do the death shake without Stupid. that shock being replaced. And he's in North Salt Lake? You're going to convince me that he, went, he didn't get on I-15 to go to North Salt Lake? Yeah. If it's true. And it might not be. I, well, we'll see. I tried I tried to play as nice into it as possible. That yeah, yeah. They were. Yeah. I'm with you, buddy. We're not here to make this thing rough. We're yep. just, you know, yep. I'm just doing my job. He has no idea that yep. I've known Stacy ever since I was like six. But. Yep. And you know, between now and this time that he's not going to release the vehicle to us, he's going to do everything he can. You know what? I make. think I'll just have you drop it. The street. I honestly don't think he's going to surrender. I don't know that he will either. We'll I just, see. I just, I, I think, I, I mean, if he does, it'll be after he's done everything he possibly can to try to work it out and get her to call off the dogs, but... She doesn't think he'll call her. I said, I'm sure he's going to be calling and, you. And, she, and, goes, she goes, he won't call me. And America First won't tell him shit because he's not on the note. They, they'll be like, we can't talk to you about that vehicle. I want... And he goes, I'm not at Shannon's house. <laughs> Stacy's like, that's the only friend he's got. So... So I wonder what's in North Salt Lake. I don't think you he's don't, in North Salt Lake. I think he's in Saratoga. You don't, that's really? Where, that's where Shannon lives. What kind of a... Uh, God, I wish he had more time. Do you know where Sweet Bar is? 172 Sweet Bar? No. In Saratoga Springs? No, well, they just came over there, so after I get done with you, i got to go back up there to Saratoga Springs anyways. Can you get an address for uh, That's what she said. Shannon? I, she's, or a last name, then I can just look it up myself. Shannon Brown. Oh, well, that's kind of a common name, but I guess if I put it's Saratoga Springs in... I could put Saratoga Springs in... I'm watching. He's like, he's like, I don't like it, but I agree. Late is late. So I'm done with it. I'm just sick of all the bullshit. And yep. He says, you can just have it. I don't give a shit anymore. It's funny how if you just bug someone enough and make it enough of a pain in the butt, they give up eventually. I mean, some people hold on for a while, but unless they've got some real money invested in the vehicle, just can I, you know, they, I don't know. I don't know if he put, I mean, did she say anything about whether she'd put the wheels on that thing, the rims and tires, or, or, they, or did he put all I'm those? Sure, I'm sure Stacy did. Uh, see, that, see, if he doesn't have that money invested in it, he doesn't have as much of a personal reason. The only, and it says it right here, the only thing he, he, I mean, he's made the payments. Right. But the only thing that he's really invested into it is he traded in his Range Rover as a down payment on it. Range Rover's a pretty nice vehicle. Hello. So who did you walk over and get him? <sighs> My car's in the driveway, you could have even taken it. I really did not think it was going to be sitting out like that. Job's well, sitting. then I'll, as soon as I get back, we're just leaving from up here. We're just just the other side of the point of the mountain. As soon as I get back, when I grab Sid, yeah, when I grab Sid, um, then I'll just run and grab Jack. Who's he with? has her keys though so there's not even a key for you to take my car they can go to mine if they need to so yeah that's what i was saying because i just parked in the driveway and then went across the street and went with matt
to unwrap it. Bring the that clasp. And on this side, you come up from underneath. On that side, you come from the top. So click it up over the tire. It should be straight over. There you go. Pull your slack out. Ratchet it until it's almost tight. Yeah, bring it up higher for sure. There you go. And, and right when it starts to get taut, now flip your tail around, bring it in on itself and tuck the tail in there. And then crank it down as hard as you can. Yeah, you got two guys, you hit both sides at the same time, and it just goes a lot faster. And then I usually just tuck this down and, and slide it down in there. Let's go! I did not expect this thing to be sitting out in the driveway like this. What's up? It's got a, it's still got a new plate on it. Temp tag, yeah. yeah. Hasn't passed the safety and emissions. So, it knows up a little. It's been getting down a little. All right, let's make some good time. Nothing like going up and coming back. Yeah, that makes, that, then I, I feel better about you helping me out and coming up here oh, when we don't, don't go home empty. Yeah, it always does feel better. That's twice we've done that now, going, going after your Jeep. Well, maybe we don't want to pick it up. It's good luck to come up. <laughs> keep, keep coming up. <laughs> We're going for the Jeep tonight. Freaking front wheels are cranked a little bit. The wheels locked, so we'll just leave it. Hey. Yeah, that's, it's for a Honda, but it's not for mine. Who? Over there and grab it, that's the best. 